Good morning on Wednesday the 20th of May. Over the last maybe year or so, I've got into the habit in the morning when I wake up of checking the news headlines on my phone and just to to make sure that I don't miss anything important uh, because I, I don't have the patience to read a newspaper even if I've got the time. And sometimes alongside of that I'll have a glance at my emails or whatever and things will pop into my newsfeed and I've, once or twice I've shared uh, with you I think in these reflections things that have, have popped up that morning and this is this morning's offering and I really rather like it. <clears throat> oh excuse me I'm struggling with hay fever at the moment. You may think that you are completely insignificant in this world but someone drinks coffee from the favourite cup that you gave them. Someone heard a song on the radio that reminded them of you. Someone read the book that you recommended and plunged headfirst into it. Someone smiled after a hard day's work because they remembered the joke that you told them today. Someone loves themselves a little bit more because you gave them a compliment. Never think that you have no influence whatsoever. Your trace, which you leave behind with every good deed, cannot be erased. One of my mum's favourite uh, things to say was, if you can't say something good about somebody, say nothing at all. And I've seen a couple of social media posts recently about how unfortunate it is that um, there's an awful lot of space taken up with saying unkind <clears throat> and unpleasant things about um, significant people, politicians and leaders and so on. And it, it, it strikes me that my old mum knew a, knew a thing or two. If we can't say something kind about somebody, it's probably better that we say nothing at all. And never underestimate the incredible influence that we have on each other by picking up the phone and saying something nice to somebody, by actually being there for somebody, by telling them they look nice by not commenting on their lockdown ha hair or whatever else is, is going on for all of us at the moment. Kindness costs us nothing, does it? And I know so many kind people. I want to thank people who've, who've been positive and, and said good things about uh, the, the church fellowship and about what we're all trying to do. And believe me, you are all making a difference. Our church fellowship is known to be one that's mutually supportive. So thank you, Cowbridge United Church. And forgive me those of you who are listening from away and don't actually know the rest of us, but I promise you we're a nice crowd and the amount of mutual support in our wider community at the moment, of course, as I've said many times, is absolutely amazing. So above all today, what I'd like you to do is to be kind to yourselves. Is not to beat yourselves up because you looked in the mirror and you're being critical or because you've not cleaned the house from top to bottom and you should have done that because you've had plenty of time. It really isn't that important, is it? Be kind to yourselves today. And there, from, from that will, become, will come um, a, a, a healing and a peace. And we've got a nice piece of music this morning, uh, beginning now in our kind of build up 
through this Ascension Week towards Pentecost, I'm going to be introducing more uh, music about the coming of the Holy Spirit and about God's peace being on each one of us. And so I hope you enjoy the, the music this morning. Have a lovely day. It's going to be a really warm one, I think. So be kind to yourselves and God's blessing on every single one of you. <laughs> 